Dear 10 year old Shannon, well done for getting this far. To some, it may be a surprise. You should be really proud of yourself. Just keep doing your best. You'll continue to have a great time over the next few years, but there will be things that you do find challenging. I've got a few words of advice that will help you along the way. There'll be times where you worry about your weight and put yourself down for it. The most frequent conversation you have with someone will be with yourself. Make them positive. Be proud of who you are. Trust me, you wouldn't believe me if I told you football is taking you to places you never even knew existed. You even go to China. Yes, that is an actual place. You know all of those McDonald's Happy Meals you ate? The ones that come with toys inside? Most of them say made in China on them. Yes, you went there. So maybe don't eat too many of those and perhaps lay off the prawn cocktail crisps. You will realise that considering what you eat will be an important part of being an athlete. You will learn how to fuel yourself properly and it will really help with your performance. You have such a supportive family and you have surrounded yourself with positive people who have helped shape, guide and develop you into the person that you are today. Sean, your brother, stop fighting him. Thank him for his poor attempt at playing football with you over the football park for hours. When you and your mates are selecting teams, choose Sean more often. He isn't too bad at being a lazy striker. Beach soccer, have you heard of it? You haven't but you will. Your first session you aren't too bad. You managed to keep the ball in the air probably down to the hours that you spent doing your kicky uppies. With commitment and perseverance, you go on to represent England and develop friendships that will last a lifetime. I think you should thank your dad more often for taxiing you to and from training and matches. You wouldn't be where you are today without him. You only really start to appreciate the number of hours you must have spent in the car trying to get you to and from training on time as you get older and have to drive yourself. Thank you, dad. College and university. You aren't thinking about that right now, however, you go on to graduate from university. You realise as you get older, the joy that learning brings. Remember, you never stop learning. At college, you find your passion for coaching. When you find this passion, something that gives you purpose and meaning, give everything you can, gain as much experience as possible and enjoy the journey. 15 years later and you're still playing football and loving the game. You wouldn't believe some of the pitches you get to play on now. They are so much better than the football park. I think the hours that you spend at the youth club playing pool, football, or attempting to learn street dance has set you up nicely to work at the Saints Foundation. Shannon, as you can see, you still love to talk. Can you hear that? Shan, dinner! Yes, that is Dad shouting at you from across the field calling you in for dinner. Everyone over the football park knows that that shout is a signal for the football match to end imminently as you take your ball home for dinner. Sorry, Mum, I meant tea. Tell your sister you love her. Although you don't think you have much in common right now, you end up spending plenty of time going for brunch and walks together. And mum, give her the biggest hug and kiss. She is the best mum in 10 streets and will always be there for you. Love you loads, Shannon. Keep working hard. <laughs>